Hi, I'm Pete McCall, an A certified personal trainer and the author of the certified article on exercise immune system. I'm going to share with you a few important findings that I learned while writing the article. Number one, our immune system actually has two subsystems. The innate system is our skin and mucous membranes. That keeps viruses from entering the body in the first place. Now, I, perfect, to be perfectly clear, I know there's some debate about masks. I know some people might feel they don't want to wear masks. But think about this. A mask, the research shows that a mask could keep a virus from entering the body through the respiratory tract. Consider wearing a mask part of the innate subsystem. If you are working with clients during this time of year, if you are working with clients during COVID-19, it's very important that you wear a mask and they wear a mask it's just to keep everybody safe and consider that part of your immune system. The second subsystem is the adaptive system. That's how our body pre prepares specific responses to any foreign viruses that enter the body. Here's one thing to consider as you look at developing programs, teaching classes, and working with clients this flu season. High intensity exercise can compromise the immune system. The research suggests that an excessive amount of high intensity exercise or competitive athletics, and I'm talking about endurance sports or any high intensity exercise that lasts longer than 90 minutes. The research shows that there could be called what's called an open window. So after 90 minutes or longer of really tough, challenging exercise, the body's immune system can actually be weaker anywhere from a period of four to 36 hours. That's what the research calls the open window. That means that, that that's when the immune system is compromised and it might be easier for a virus to enter the body. If you are gonna be programming high intensity workouts, really urge people to do it towards the end of the day. That way they can do the high intensity workout and go home. They can have good nutrition and get a good night's sleep and allow their body to rest and allow their immune system to strengthen while they sleep. And those are two other critical things to help the body be strong during cold and flu season. One is proper nutrition. Your immune cells need proper nutrition, just like your muscle cells. Your muscle cells need carbohydrate in order to be able to produce, produce the ATP for movement. The research literature suggests that your immune system, the immune cells, need carbohydrate as well. What that means is cold and flu season is not the time to be cutting macronutrients. If clients do that, they could be compromising their immune system, which is something we don't want to do. The other important component is sleep. Sleep is critical for when the body repairs itself after exercise. Yes, we lift weights, we work hard in the gym, but it's sleep when our body repairs itself, and that's especially true for the immune system. So urge your clients during this cold and flu season to try to get that extra hour of sleep. And if you're a fitness professional and you know you're working, always going, 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 trying to get a little extra sleep would be good for you as well. Here's the thing about exercise. Doing moderate intensity exercise. If we look at a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the hardest, moderate intensity exercise is somewhere between a four and seven. That's where we're breathing hard, but we're not quite out of breath. Moderate intensity exercise of about 40, 45 minutes or less has been shown to strengthen the immune system. This year, during cold and flu season, really encourage your clients to stay active every day, but really also encourage them to watch the intensity. Doing moderate intensity exercise can boost the immune system. However, doing too much high intensity or doing those really long workouts or just not taking enough recovery time could really weaken and compromise the immune system. Be sure to stay within your scope of practice. What we can do as A certified professionals is monitor our clients' exercise intensity. Be smart about it. If they are gonna do high intensity exercise, encourage them to do it towards the end of the day so that way they're not going to work with a possibly weakened or compromised immune system. A lot of research suggests that people only need to do a limited amount of high intensity exercise anyway to get benefits like improved aerobic capacity or burning calories. So think about having them do one four minute really hard Tabata cycle instead of having them do 15 or 20 minutes of high intensity exercise. Their bodies will thank you and their immune systems will thank you. Two, encourage your clients to eat the proper nutrition, including all macronutrients and all food groups. The research suggests that nutrition can help strengthen the immune system just like it can help strengthen our muscles. Three, encourage good sleep hygiene. Yes, the gym is when we exercise, that's when we impose stress upon the body. But it's the sleep, that's the recovery time when our muscles and the immune system actually become stronger. 
As I suggested earlier, consider sleep as strength training for the immune system. Number four, just be smart. Wear a mask. Consider a mask part of your innate immune system. That's gonna keep you from getting sick. Especially if you're a fitness professional, working in a gym for an extended period of time, you're gonna be around a lot of people all day. Take care of yourself. Watch how much you exercise. Do the moderate intensity exercise, but if you're gonna be in a gym for an extended period of time, take care of yourself and limit that high intensity exercise to right before you go home. That way you give your immune system a break. That open window when the immune system is weak is between four and 36 hours. So if you are gonna do that high intensity exercise, keep it short and do it closer towards the end of the day when that way you can go home and you're not gonna be around the gym and be around too many other people. To get more information about how exercise affects the immune system, check out the article in the ACE Certified Magazine.